Hi and welcome back to this new video tutorial of Akinio. In today's video tutorial what we'll be doing is we'll be checking out Akinio CSV import module. Now using this particular module the admin of the Akinio would be able to import product and product models uh, from uh, third-party platforms, suppliers and other applications using a customized CSV file. So in today's video tutorial, what we'll be doing is we'll be going to the admin backend panel and we'll be seeing how in the first place, the admin of the Akinio would be able to create a mapping there in the admin backend panel. Within the mapping, we'll be creating a mapping between the Akinio fields and the custom CSV field headers. Apart from that, we'll also be seeing how the admin would be able to create an import job. And within the import job, we'll be selecting the created uh, mapping there and thereafter we'll be running that particular import job to import the product and product models from the custom CSV file into the Akinio there. But before I proceed further with this particular video tutorial today, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. And if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. So let's hop onto the Akinio backend panel and let's see the workflow of the particular plugin that's the Akinio. CSV import module. For the same, let's hop on to the Akinio backend panel now. So right now you can see that I'm at the Akinio backend panel. So what I'll be doing is initially I'll be logging into the admin backend panel by entering the username, password and tapping on the login button thereafter. So let's get ahead and let's log into the admin backend panel first. So I've entered the details here and let's tap here on the login button. Now after the successful installation of this particular module that's the Akinio CSV import module you'll find one option on the backend side panel there with the name CSV import. So here we have logged into the Akinio backend panel as you can see. So if I scroll down on the left hand side here we'll find the CSV import option. Now if I tap on that uh, we'll be able to see uh, the CSV connector section and here we are having the mapping template section. Now you'll be able to create the mapping templates as per your own requirement there. You can create a single mapping template as per your own requirement or you can create multiple uh, mapping templates and uh, you can create the templates uh, by attribute code or by attribute label as per the requirement. If you're using uh, the mapping or if you're creating the uh, uh, what we say as the mapping template using the attribute code then you need to use the attribute codes uh, within the CSV file headers there otherwise if you're using the attribute label then you have to use the attribute label within the CSV file header names there. So what I've done is I've created two different templates here one is by the attribute code and one is by the attribute label already. Uh, but before I go to this particular section for the mapping template let me show you how initially you'll be able to create a mapping template there. So for that what you need to do is you need to tap here on the create template button that you can see. So I'll just tap here on the create template and here we'll be giving the name of the template. For example test template and we'll be saving this particular template. As soon as we have saved this particular template we'll find one empty section here as you can see. Uh, and here you can see that uh, under the CSV import mapping here we have the CSV field name. So the CSV uh, file that will be or the customized CSV file that we'll be using to import the product and product models into Akinio there. Uh, for that particular CSV file, the uh, file header names uh, have to be mapped here. So here we have to enter the CSV uh, field names. Then we have to map them with the Akinio simple model product mappings there and with the Akinio variant products as well. So to create a mapping there, what we need to do is we need to go to this particular section that says add mapping CSV field and here we can set up the CSV field header name. So for example, within the CSV uh, file there, uh, we have set up the uh, uh, field header name as SKU uh, for the product SKU, then we'll set it as SKU here. And depending upon what uh, you are choosing, whether you are using it by the code or by the uh, attribute label, if you're using it uh, using the attribute code, then you have to enter that particular code that you have entered there within the CSV file header. Uh, the same has to be entered here. If it's a code, then the code has to be entered. If it's a label, then the particular label has to be entered within this uh, particular section here uh, of uh, using that uh, uh, using the CSV file as the reference file there. 
Now then we have to choose the CSV simple model product field value type. So here we'll choose it between the single attribute field, multiple attribute or concatenate attribute field. So for this example, as we are using the SKU as the CSV field header, so we'll be choosing the single attribute field for the same. Then we have the simple or the model product field format. The format would be attribute name. Uh, then we have the variant field value type. So that would also be single attribute field. Then the CSV variant field format. This would be attribute name. And then we have the Akinio field type. So here we'll be choosing the Akinio field type as identifier. And uh, because the SKU comes under the identifier there. So after we have selected the Akinio field type as identifier, then we'll be tapping here on the add field button. After we have tapped on the add field button, you can see that the CSV field name is visible here. That's the SKU. So within the CS, the CSV that we'll be using for inputting the product and product models, within that we would have set up the, uh, what we say as the field uh, headers there. So those header names have to be entered here uh, within the CSV field name. So SKU has been uh, set up and we'll be mapping it with the particular identifier uh, uh, or the Akinio field type that is identifier. So we'll be choosing SKU with SKU. And for the variant pro product mapping, we'll be choosing it as SKU. Similarly, for example, for the name, if we have the CSV field header name as name, we'll be choosing the CSV model product field value type as single attribute field, the model field format as attribute name. And uh, for the variant, we'll be choosing it as single attribute field and the format will be attribute name and the field type would be can be text or can be uh, text area as well. And then we'll be tapping here on the add field button. And then you can see that that particular field would be uh, added under the CSV field name here. Uh, so we have the name. So now from the drop down, we'll be able to see all of the Akinio field types that are of the text and the text area types. So here we can choose a uh, name uh, to be mapped with name and name to be mapped with name. Uh, let me select it as name there. Then uh, we can set up the description uh, field header name that we are having within the CSV file. For example, description. Uh, this would have the single attribute field for the product field uh, value type. Then we have the product field format there. It would be attribute name. Uh, the variant field name would be single attribute field and uh, the variant field format would be uh, attribute name itself and this would be text area and then we'll be tapping here on the add field and this description field would be also added here under the csv field name so here we are having the csv field names like sku name description and the description would then be uh, mapped to description and here as well to the description that right so this is how you can do the CSV import mapping between the uh, Akinio fields and the CSV field header names there. And after you're done with this particular section here for are uh, done with the uh, different uh, field uh, CSV field name uh, mapping with the Akinio fields there, uh, you will be able to go to the, uh, the other section that's the other mapping. And within the other mapping, we have to set up the CSV category field. So here, uh, whatever you have set uh, up, the name as the field header value in the Akinu there for the CSV category field, you have to enter that. So within the CSV file, if we have set it as category, we have to enter the same here. Then for the CSV family field, we have to set it accordingly. We'll set it as family. Then we'll set up the simple model product field format. Uh, separator, we'll choose your equals or we can choose it as a forward slash as well. Then we'll choose the CSV variant field format separator. Then we'll set up the multiple value separator there. If we are having multiple values, then we'll choose the CSV product type field. So we'll choose it as type. Then the simple product type value, we'll set it as simple. Model, model product type value, we'll set it as model. So we're just mapping the other fields there uh, for the remaining ones. Then we have the CSV product enabled field. We'll set it as enabled. Uh, you can enable the category fields containing label as well as your own requirement. You can set up the parent code field. We'll set it to parent. Uh, you can set up the family variant field as well. The family variant field here. So we'll set it as family variant there. And you can also enable the family 
uh, family field contain code and you can enable it up as per your own requirement. And after you're done with these mappings uh, for the uh, CSV field names with the Akinio uh, attributes there, and you're done with the other mapping section here, you need to tap here on the save button to save the particular mapping itself. Now I've already created the mapping there. So let's go back to the CSV import and mapping template section. And here you can see that I've created the uh, product and product model template by attribute code and product and product model template by attribute label. Now in the case of attribute code, if I open this up, you can see uh, basically we can create a single mapping there uh, that would include uh, uh, it. Uh, the mapping would include the uh, code as well as label or we can have it as separate the code uh, separate mapping and the label separate mapping itself. So in the case of code, you can see that SKU name price description. These are the labels, uh, but the release underscore date auto underscore exposure. These are the codes that are used so these codes have to be there within the CSV uh, file headers as well. And then we can map it accordingly with the Akinio fields there as per the requirement. Now, if I go back to the mapping templates, the other one that I had created for the attribute label, if I open this up, you'll see that uh, the CSV field names uh, would all be the label names like SKU name, description, price, model, picture, size, color, brand, collection. And here I have not used any of the codes there. Now, after we're done with the mapping section here, what we need to do is uh, let me take you to the product section. Right now, you can see that we have the products up till converse red, right? Now, what we need to do is we need to create an import profile for inputting the products from the uh, custom CSV file into the Akinio there. For that, we have to create a job. So we'll go to the import. Now, under the import, I've already created the uh, what we say as the profiles for the code by code and by label there for importing the product and product variants and importing the product models there. So to create an import profile, what you can do is I've created multiple ones here uh, for a better understanding, but you can create one there. So to do so, what you need to do is you need to tap here on the create import profile button and then you need to give the code label and under the job required, you have to scroll down to the particular section that says Akinio custom CSV import and here you have to select the particular one that's the CSV product model and product import. So this job that you're going to create would be able to import the product and product models both all together there. And after you have created it up, you can run that particular job. Now, let me show you an example of importing the products uh, or the simple products from the CSV file into the Akinio there. For that, what I'll do is uh, uh, let me show you the file first. Uh, let me go to downloads and I have one CSV file that I've created with simple products there like this one with the SKUs and here I've assigned some categories and uh, I've given some description there and uh, I've assigned some families, uh, some groups and I've added some images as well. The images should be the public URLs there that you are uh, going to assign to the products there and here you can see that we have a belt, a hat, a scarf and sunglasses and we have some other, uh, what we say as the file header names there for which I have not given the uh, values there. So what I'll be doing is I'll be uh, creating these uh, products uh, within the uh, Akinio there using the CSV import. So what I'll do is I'll just close this out and let me close this out as well. And let me go to the import product and variance by code. Let me open this job profile. Now you can import the uh, CSV file if you're having it on your local there, then you can uh, set up the file path there and you can import it from there. Otherwise, if you have it somewhere else, then you can choose the upload a file and then you need to tap here on the uh, drop your CSV file or click to browse disk. So I'll just tap here and I'll choose the particular CSV or the custom CSV file that I have created. I'll open it up. And after opening it up, I'll tap here on the upload and import now. Now you'll see that the process tracker would start and you can see that read six lines and processed six lines and the CSV product import has completed. Now, if I go to the product section, you'll be able to see now we have that particular belt, hat, scarf and sunglasses being created. Initially, I had shown you that we had uh, the products until the converse red. Now we have used this uh, 
custom CSV file to import these simple products uh, there or the products uh, from the CSV file from the customized CSV file into the Aquino using this particular job that we had created right now one more thing is there if I go to the import here and I go to the particular job and I edit it uh, after editing the job I had forgot to tell you that uh, uh, so within the job when you have created the job for the import that then what you need to do is you need to also go to the setup csv template and here you have to choose the template that you have created if you have a single template uh, uh, there then you have to choose that otherwise if you have created different templates uh, uh, by code or by label you can choose by code or by label as per your own requirement there and then you need to save it up and then you need to uh, basically upload the file and then you need to upload and import it now and the particular products would be imported product or product variants or the product models would be imported from the custom csv file into your akinu that so yes that was much about this particular uh, module that's the akinu csv import module and i hope that this particular video helped you out in understanding the workflow of the same if you still have any questions, queries, sessions or requirements regarding the same, then you can anytime get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.uvdesk.com as well. And lastly, thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.